Hey guys, how you all doing? Royal Chin here and welcome back to episode 6 now, I believe, in our BSG Ultimate Team series. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't played masses amounts of FIFA recently. I've been on Call of Duty, as I'm sure you're aware, that came out the other week, so I've been pretty much herming that. I'm hoping to actually do a couple of Call of Duty videos with my friends soon uh, and hopefully add some other videos to my channel because, yeah, I'm sure just simply doing this series will get a bit boring. Anyway, last episode I believe we left off with two wins, putting us within reach of winning the Division 9 title. So that means if all things go well this episode, we should be looking to open some premium packs. So obviously this is our team at the moment. Uh, as you can see, a few players are out of contract, but I'll be able to sort that out obviously from the contracts we get in our packs in 3, 2, 1. There we go. However, we still have Coles injured, which to be honest, I don't really fancy wasting a leg injury card on a 56 rated bronze player. But with all things looking good with our team, I think it's now time to jump into the packs and hopefully get one or two players that, you know, we can put into our team. So obviously starting with the bronze pack, Aguero is on the pack. Don't really know why I always have to say what player is on the pack. But you never know, Aguero is not Alaba this time. Ooh, 80 pace. Halson get oh dear oh dear. His best stat is 59 physical. I mean, how is he a professional footballer? But Carlson looks a decent player, 80 pace obviously stands out. Uh one star weak foot, Jesus. Has he got like a leg amputated or something? Ah, now this badge actually brings back a few memories because last FIFA there was a bronze player from Kazakhstan called Kiznashenko. Now I actually made a Polish league team for whatever reason and I had him as my centre forward and he was amazing honestly one of the best players I've used. Sadly he isn't in this FIFA but this was the team that he played for so I think what I'm going to do is in memory of Kiznoshenko I'm going to put that as our active badge and probably keep it as our badge for the rest of the series. But with all that sent to the club it is now time to move on to the silver pack now. Griezmann on it. Uh, one of my favourite players, Griezmann. I actually wish that he could join my club for support. Ooh, we got a lot of players in this pack, that's for sure. Uh, we get Dishatched. Jesus, what a name. Torbinski, a left mid from the Russian League. We get Godinez, uh, another centre-back. De Toit, a uh, French goalkeeper. And Buenacasa, probably one for you career mode people out there. Yeah, he doesn't look too bad actually for a 65 overall. And we get Marlon Pack. We also managed to get a bronze player in this pack. Uh, got some mad hairstyle going on there, that's for sure. But with all that centre club, it is now on to our last pack now. The gold pack. Griezmann is on it yet again. It would just be great if we could get a shiny gold player for once. Please. Please give us a shiny gold player. Come on. Oh, we do. We get... Is that Pasafa? Oh, I'm happy with that. Oh, and we get another Moroccan player along with him. But five-star skill moves, we get Busalfa. Again, pronunciation might be wrong, but Pasalfa, five-star skills, Russian League player as well. I think we got a silver Russian League player in our silver pack. Might be able to link those two players up. But definitely interested in using him. He's not a bad goalkeeper either. I'll tell you what, that is a stellar gold pack. So, with all that sent to the club, I have added Busalfa to our bench. And I think it's now time to start our first game. And hopefully get closer to winning the Division 9 title. Right, so we have an unchanged team going into this game. This guy has got a Premier League team. Good players there. Mbemba, Balassi, Barkley, Zaha. But hopefully we can pull through. This already feels really dodgy. I haven't played FIFA in like a week, so I'm going to be really rusty. Vieira cuts in. Little dummy with a step over. Finesse shot. Oh, good save by his goalkeeper. We're probing. We're probing. Right, we win the ball back. Play that there. Right, counter-attack. Can you play that pass? Oh, is that a good pass? I think it is. Can you make that? Oh, goalie just got there. Oh, can we do a first-time pass? We can. Not many people up supporting Johnny, though. It's Johnny up there. Jesus, what the hell? We're don't we? Can we go somewhere? This No, penalty? It's a penalty! Oh, my God. I don't know what happened there. Is that going to be a red card as well? It's a red card. Oh, my God. This guy's down to 10 men. I thought I mucked up there. Like, I was running away from the goal. I thought the donk's touch had taken him out too wide. But for some reason, this guy just broke me. I'm going to risk it. And I'm going to let the donk take it. Because he won it. This could be... A really bad mistake here. Oh, it's a good penalty. Bit lucky there. Guy went the right way, but somehow the penalty still went in. 
Oh, no offside flag though. Goalie's kicked it. Can we go for the bang? Shoots. Oh, it's wide. Play that out wide. He's all free. Can you win that header? Go on, Vieira. He's won it. Can you get there just before? Aspas is in. Big moment here to make it 2-0. Oh, I've taken the shot and it's 2-0. Right. I think this guy might have had enough. Is that a rage quit? The circle's going. And this guy has rage quit. Three points for us. Uh, what minute do we make it to? I think it was like the 30th minute. And this guy just couldn't take it. We were 2-0 up. Looks like it's on to the next game already. Right, so after making some changes to our team, I thought as we only need one point from one game, I would shake it up a bit, maybe try some players I haven't used yet, but at the same time, make sure that the players I'm using I know are going to do a job for me. So what I've done is I've brought in Basalfa, i brought in Defau, this Italian centre-back so he gets chemistry with the Sanctus. I did want to try out the new centre-back we've got from Andalet. Also, as you can see, this is purely for chemistry reasons as well that I brought in some other players. Now, the one thing that you might look at and think, Chin, why the hell have you done that? I have a good feeling about this bronze striker, Santalab. I got him in one of the early packs, I think. He doesn't actually look that bad. I know he's a 59 overall, but I have a feeling he's going to do okay. So, on we go into our second game. We are again the away team. Holy shit, this guy's got a good Liga 1 team. But, I'm still confident our team can do a job. Like I say, one point is all we need. This is looking like it could be a quick episode as well. I'm not too sure we're going to make this guy rage quit like we did the last guy. But, like I say, I'm confident. Right, we've just won the ball there. Tobinski, the new guy. Jesus, he is tall. Uh... Is that a foul? Yeah, I'm... Oh, wait, no. No, ref, I wanted to play on. Really? Oh, for God's sake. Right, we give the ball to Basalfa. Oh, can you do anything? Play that pass. It's a good ball in. Defoul. What's going on? That shot was pathetic. Oh, crap. He's got a free kick. This isn't good. Can we put a guy on the line? Really not in the mood to be conceding a free kick right here. Oh, no. He's on one of those layoff things. He's had a shot. Oh, my... God. Oh, well, that was a bloody sick goal. What can I do about that? I mean, I, I knew the moment he laid it off, I was in trouble. Right, we've got the ball here. Christiansen, what can you do? Play that to him. Torbinski. One more. Right, Torbinski. Good touch there. Cut in. Torbinski. Torpedo. Oh, the post. It's a... No, he's offside. You've got to be joking me. Are you serious, man? I honestly thought we had just made it 1-1. On the bright side, though, I think we've now got a new catchphrase for Torbinski, but this guy's... No. Get it out. Oh my god, this guy got so close to scoring there. Holy crap. As I was saying, I think we've now got a new catchphrase for Torbinski. The Torbinski torpedo. With Salfa, good dribbling. Play him. Christiansen's in here. Big opportunity. Come on, Christensen, you should score. No, he saved it. Damn it, man. I was so hoping I could tramp it there, but at the same time, I didn't want to. Free kick. Why did I say free kick? It was a free header. I can't touch him. I cannot touch him. Oh, my God. I thought I was going in. Right, so it's half time. As you can see, we have had a couple of opportunities, but this guy, is, he's just been clinical. He's dribbling as well. I can't get anywhere near him. Looking at the subs bench for options, I think we are going to have to be forced into a change here. We're going to bring on Vedonk for Defauer, and I was wrong, I'm going to admit it now, I was wrong. So Aspas is going to quickly come on for Santa Lab, and let's just hope we can get back in this game. Aspas, I believe in you. Great turn there. The Ronaldo chop. Oh my god, what have I done? I played that all the way back to Vedonk. That was so stupid. He's tackled him though. Oh my god, what is going on? All right, Costa, play that there. Good little dummy. What is that, Aspas? Might as well be better off having shitty Santa Lab on. I read he was going to do that. Right. Can you play it? What on earth is that? My players are just turning to shit. 60 minutes now. We need a goal. We need a goal badly. He's chipped that over the top. This looks dangerous. This is dangerous. Oh, my lord. Oh, no. That's game over. No. Oh, I've given away a penalty. I didn't even press a button, he just clipped his heel. Please, 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 please. And he's, he scored. Oh, he's trapped me. What a son of a bitch. Oh, I don't honestly know why I actually change players. I don't know why I do it. It's, it's four. You know what? Fuck you. I honestly don't know what the fuck has just happened in this game. It's just gone to shit. Is there any point in me playing the rest of it? Like, I, I couldn't score when it was 1-0. I doubt I'm now going to be able to score on a 4-0 down. 
Oh my god. Oh, um, Plus? No? No, obviously not. Just think all the way back to that moment where I scored and the referee gave offside. If that didn't hit the post and actually went in, we might not actually have got fuck 4 nil this game. To top it off, my fucking team won't load. Am I really gonna have to... Oh my god. Screw it. You know, first game, the guy rage quit in what, like 30 minutes? We're gonna play another game. We got absolutely destroyed that game. That is not how we're gonna end this episode, okay? We are winning the title. Right, so we are actually going to make our normal team that we played first game. Have the players that we had when we originally won and just apply a squad fitness. I don't know if some players' fitness might have gone up. I think Aspas needs a fitness guard. So the normal team is back. We are going in to our third game and we are gonna win this title. No messing about, no trying shitty little bronze strikers. We are winning this game. Right, so our third and final opponent of the episode is Mendoza Juniors. As long as we play like we did in the first game, we'll be good. Win that header, well in, right. Come on, counter attack. Can you play that pass? Vieira, you sure can. Triple X. Oh, what a ball! We are 1-0 up. Triple X crosses OP. Aspas, start in this game, gets his goal, playing the ball nicely. Vieira, can you play one more to Aspas? He sure can. Has he got the pace? Penalty. That looked like a blatant push, but no, we don't get the penalty. What's that all about? Bad throw there from his keeper. We pick it up. Shoot. Oh, Vieira's put it wide. That would have been 2-0. We are all over this guy. He cannot get it out. Again, he's throwing the ball straight to us. Play that pass. Shoot. And it's 2-0. We get that goal. Bit of sustained pressure there. And we finally get the breakthrough and make it 2-0. Again, this guy's just giving the ball away. Is Vieira just going to dribble all the way through? He does. Oh, that was a great save. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This guy, this could be his first chance here and he could score from it. Trying to make ground. Good save to Sanctis. Well in. We'll have that free kit. Actually, quick pass there. The donk. What is this guy doing? Shoots. Head that. No, what, what was that? Right, we're on the counter here. Play that pass. Right, Aspas, we're in, surely. Aspas is in. Round the goalie. Can you shoot? And that is 3-0. Aspas with his second of the game now. This guy just brought his goalie out. And, uh put it into an empty net. So that is half time, we are winning 3-0. As you can see, we've absolutely bamboozled this guy. Are we gonna have a go here? We might as well. It's Aspas. Over the wall. Oh, he's at the post! That would have been Aspas's hat trick. What a free kick. Still got it. Play that there. Good little bit of football going on here. Is that three? Don't know why he said is that three. I don't know if that was Christiansen. It might have been Kamara. We're gonna find out. It was Kamara. Good left foot finish there. Oh. Well, we almost got a goal back there. Not a lot's happening in this game now, but uh. And the donk is in. Can he go off with a bang? The dribbling, and it's five. Finesse shot there by Vadonk. I think it's been one for a while now, but fair play to this guy. He's playing the rest of the game. And just as I say that, this guy goes in range quits. So, uh, yeah, don't really know why he didn't do it earlier if you're going to do it when you're 5-0 down in the 87th minute. But either way, we don't care. That means we win the title and we are now going to open those premium packs. Confirmation of us being in Division 8. Now, let's see what these packs can give us. Right, so first one, premium bronze pack. 750 coins. Would be nice to get a bronze shiny. Oh, we get a centre back Jensen. I'll tell you what, 64 overall, we do get a shiny. I'm happy with these two players. It gives something different. Uh, it would have been better though if they were actually in a league that we would probably use. So we quickly send all that to the club. Again, Alaba is on the pack. It is now the premium silver pack. Hopefully a striker maybe, a silver striker, we get a CDM, Jesus, 52 pace, 70 defending, 84 physical, he is a CDM though, we get another CDM, not the greatest of silver packs, but I'll tell you what, low high work rates, he might actually be a good player with low high work rates, pretty defensive player, I'm not going to rule him out, we might actually use him eventually, but uh, yeah, just wish we could have maybe got a shiny forward player, that would have been nice. So, on to the last pack now, it is Griezmann again, we've had Griezmann on the packs quite a few times now, is he going to reward us with a stellar player? We get, is that Drogba? Well, and we also get 
a shiny silver. I said I wanted a shiny silver forward player, and we actually get one. Five foot four, Yimmy Chara. I'll tell you what, I think we might actually have to use him next episode. At least try him out, because 92 pace, 76 dribbling. He actually looks like a good player. But yeah, Drogba, one of my favourite players being a Chelsea fan. I absolutely love Drogba. You can tell if we were to use him, you know, he'd just be an absolute beast. I just remembered as well, we also have Garcia. I don't know who he plays for. I think it's the Earthquakes, but there's one MLS link there that we can use. We also get Bittencourt, Glenn Whelan from Stoke, and we also get this non-rare Spain centre-back, Akiza. So yeah, you know, I'm happy with that pack. Drogba and that Chara guy, definitely players that I'm looking forward to using, and uh, you never know, maybe we'll use Bittencourt court and uh, this Carlinos guy. So I've sent all that to the club, that's probably going to be the end for the episode now, it's probably a longer one considering we played three games, I know we had two rage quits in it, but anyway, if you did enjoy the episode please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to stick around, and yeah, that has been episode six guys. Hopefully see you in episode 7. Like I say, uh, I'm hoping to maybe bring out some other videos like GTA, Call of Duty. Also get my friends involved, but yeah, I'll see you all later.